Hey, this is Mike from the Run Testers, and this is our first run review of the Nike Wild Horse 8. Just a note that Sports Shoes has provided us with the review sample used in this video. They haven't paid us to do this review, they haven't had any input in terms of what's in this video. This is purely our thoughts on the Nike Wild Horse 8. So here's the lowdown on the Nike Wild Horse 8. So first we'll start off with the price and it is priced at £114.95 in the UK or $130 in the US. Now in our UK size 8 it weighed in at 317 grams and it is a shoe with an 8mm drop steel with Nike's React based midsole and an engineered mesh upper. Down below you've got a mix of high abrasion rubber and mitten rubber to provide good grip on ascents and wet weather. Nike includes a rock plate and a forefoot to provide cushioning on harder terrain with a cushion collar to provide more comfort further back. So what is actually different on the Wild Horse 8 from the Wild Horse 7? Well, it looks like Nike has tried to rework a few of the elements here on the shoe to make it ultimately still a shoe that you're going to want to run long in, but it's going to deliver something that's comfortable uh, and just a little bit more reliable in terms of that performance. Now, there definitely is some changes in the upper department particularly I think uh, kind of what you're getting at the collar here which it was a little bit of a different makeup in terms of what we got on the previous wild horse shoes uh, you've got these kind of side rails here as well to offer a bit more stability but also add a little bit of kind of bounce on top of that midsole uh, reacts based midsole as well too and then you've got this outsole which does feel like it is going to be a little bit more aggressive than previous shoes and obviously you know generally nike shoes or kind of outsoles haven't been fantastic or not generally fantastic on those kind of uh, kind of wetter surfaces maybe you know traction wise and kind of you know ascents and hillier kind of climbs as well and it looks like we're going to get a little bit more from this outsole on the wild horse 8 so yeah quite a few things it looks like that nike has tried to rework on the wild horse 8 ultimately hopefully to make it a better shoe how does it perform on the run let's get into that first run to find out So fit for me was absolutely fine in my UK size eight on the Wild Horse eight. Now generally I have a pretty good experience with the fit on Nike shoes in general, uh, and particularly on the trail shoes. I think probably only the Nike Invincible I always find a little bit long for me. But in terms of the Wild Horse eight was absolutely fine. I was very happy in terms of the level of space I was getting up front in the toes here. The midfoot kind of hold is very very good as well. I thought I got a nice kind of lock down as well, which kind of maybe surprised me a little bit in terms of this kind of setup here. And also obviously I know. There's a change in terms of how this kind of heel looks and how the kind of collar kind of is designed now from previous wild horses. And for me, it worked really, really nicely from that point of view. So for me, I would say go true to size. I've got quite skinny kind of feet in general and I didn't have any issues in terms of the level of room, the kind of hold I got in this shoe and ultimately how comfortable it, it fitted in that kind of first run as well. So I've just got back from my first run in the Nike Wild Horse 8. I did just under 10 miles at very easy going pace. It's pretty hot out there. I definitely went chasing or kind of hunting out the kind of shadier trails near me. Um, for anyone that lives in South London, I did a part of the Vanguard Way and then I kind of came back and that allowed me to pick up um, you know, a trail where I know is going to be pretty quiet, also kind of shaded, but also I could kind of roll through as well. But I did manage to get, you know, run on a kind of mixture of terrain as well, get a little bit of elevation in there as well too, to really get a sense of what this shoe is kind of capable of. I think the first thing really struck, you know, kind of struck me ultimately, I, I, literally putting this shoe on, is that it feels very comfortable. This upper feels very, very nice to wear. And from a comfort point of view, it feels very good. I think particularly here back in the hill, where I think this, you know, I know this has kind of changed from previous wild horses, that the kind of padding that you get here, and also that in combination with the padding you get from the tongue, it really sits very nicely around that part of the foot. Um, I think lockdown wise, it works really well as well. You know, you don't get a massive amount of pressure from those lace on top of that tongue as well, which I really liked. And I felt, you know, I never felt that it, I wasn't very well locked in kind of on the top of the laces. Space wise in front of the, t you know, in front of the toes, very, very roomy, um, you know, no issues from that point of view. And again, nice hold at the midfoot as well too. Now in terms of the ride, Obviously, you've got the um, a nice kind of React uh, midsole foam here. Um, now, I've I've run in the kind of things like the Terra Geiger and the Nike Pegasus uh, as well. So React based um, shoes as well, and obviously the, Z the Zagama has a Zoom X. Um, and I, for me, you know, I think the React midsoles in general are very very good in terms of running on trails. And I think what I found was it was pretty smooth, very stable. Um, in terms of wanting to pick up the pace, now it's not a heavy shoe, but also it didn't feel like a shoe that I want, I could feel I could run and pick up the pace in massively. And so I think if you were looking for a shoe or a Nike trail shoe that you'd run want to run quick, and I'm not 
necessarily sure that's what the shoe's capable of, but I don't think that's what it's really designed for. I think it's really about logging a lot of time on your feet. I think in terms of when I sank back, back into that midsole, I felt very well protected, particularly at the back of this shoe um, and kind of at the heel where I kind of dropped back in. And I think, as I said, I think the ride feels very smooth, very stable, very well protected. I never, you know, the the feeling of running in a shoe didn't change over that kind of um, run that I did. And I think that is a, a good sign, a positive sign for me. And ultimately it just felt very nice to run. And as I said, the com from a comfort point of view, it felt very, go very good. Um, in terms of other things, I think the outsole wise, uh, you know, I've had a bit of a mixed experience of the outsoles and Nike shoes. I think particularly when you're kind of on muddier, kind of softer terrain, well, I think there's a bit more going on on this outsole when you compare it to some of the other trail shoes. There's definitely a little bit more um, in terms of what you're getting here. I was on pretty kind of hard trails. It's pretty dry at the moment. Um, it felt pretty, you know, pretty um, stable from that point of view. I didn't have any issues. I did a little bit of road. Um, it was fine on road. I wouldn't particularly want to run a lot of road or kind of pavements um, really with it. But I think in terms of kind of harder kind of trails, it felt right. And I was just kind of softer, you know, when I was kind of on that kind of shadier routes where it was a little bit softer in terms of the ground, it felt absolutely fine as well. And I think the cushion worked pretty well in tandem with that outsole as well too. And what I'd like to see is how the outsole kind of performs in kind of wetter, kind of muddier terrain where I think sometimes Nike's, um, you know, outsoles on their trail shoes can sometimes come up a little bit short, but ultimately in terms of that run and the kind of drier surfaces, it was absolutely fine. So the other things I'd probably mention is like what kind of protection you're getting here from this shoe. And now obviously you're getting I don't think you're getting a massive amount, you know, when you compare it to some other shoes that are designed for kind of longer kind of, you know, runs or, you know, being out um, on trails for a lot longer, there isn't a massive amount here. I didn't have any issues in terms of that protection. I felt okay in terms of running, kind of scrambling down from kind of um, the kind of hillier parts of my route. Um, that point of view but i don't think you're getting a massive amount in terms of that protection here so if you wanted a highly protected shoe i don't think necessarily you're getting that here um, but i think if you've got pretty safe kind of comfortable terrain kind of light to moderate terrain i think i think you'd be absolutely fine you know i, I will obviously we'll try out some more technical stuff but ultimately i think from that point of view i'm not 100 percent convinced or maybe sure that it will work on something a bit more challenging but in terms of what I used it on and the routes that I did, you know, it was absolutely fine from that point of view. So yeah, you know, it's, you know, I've had a bit, like I said, I've had a bit of mixed experience with Nike trail shoes in general, but from a first run, I actually really, really liked the shoe. I had a very positive experience, I would say. It was very comfortable. That was the thing that really shone for me. And then obviously you've got a Nike, you know, React-based midsole, which I think works in terms of obviously something that feels very stable, very comfortable, that, you know, very well protected as well. Um, and, you know, gives you that kind of smooth feeling, you know, and those are the kind of things I think you probably want on your longer runs. Um, in terms of being a shoe that you'd want to run a bit quicker in, I'm not sure this is the shoe in Nike's kind of, you know, collection of trail shoes that you want to do it in. So you may want to pair it with another shoe if you're planning to do some kind of quicker race, racing kind of off-road ultimately. But, a very positive first experience i think at that first run i definitely want to see how it performs when i can maybe run a little bit kind of you know in conditions where maybe they're a little bit wetter maybe a little bit uh, going going a little bit longer in it as well to see how it holds up or whether that you know that experience that i've had so far remains consistent as well on longer distances as well but so far so good i would say and you know as I said, you know, I've not absolutely loved every night trail shoe that I've run in recently, but this is definitely a shoe I'm looking forward to running in a bit more. So some initial thoughts on the Nike Wild Horse 8. And I have to say for that first run, pretty good so far. Um, and it's interesting because I've had a bit of a mixed experience with Nike's trail shoes in general recently. Uh, I've used the Terra Geiger, the Zagama. I do use the Pegasus Trail a fair bit as well still. But I think this shoe, in terms of what it's designed for, and you know, this is someone who hasn't run in a wild horse shoe before. It feels like a shoe that's comfortable, it's gonna be comfortable to run long in. It felt pretty good for me on that first run. You know, a few things that I would like to see with you know, kind of more testing and you know, longer runs in them is how this outsole is gonna kind of perform because in general, the outsole on Nike's trail shoes are not perfect, particularly I think with some in terms of softer terrain or maybe muddier terrain. You know, it's pretty dry at the moment, but it'd be interesting to see how it performs in that front. I don't think it's a massively uh, protective shoe from that point of view as well, but in terms of comfort, in terms of fit, in terms of the ride being smooth, stable, all the kind of things I would look for and kind of long runs where I'm not really putting a massive emphasis on pace, which I think, you know, I wouldn't want to run quicker. I don't feel like I would want to run quick in this shoe. 
it felt pretty solid overall. So yeah, and it's a shoe, you know, a Nike trial shoe that I'm actually looking forward to running a lot more in, which I think with the kind of previous shoes that I've tested recently, you know, I was a bit on the fence whether I was, you know, desperate to get back out on them. But I think with this, in terms of what it's designed for, I think, you know, it feels like it, it fits the bill from that point of view. So all very positive so far. As I said, I'd like to see how it performs in terms of that kind of outsole, maybe some kind of mixture of terrain um, and see how it performs when it's pushed a little bit more and its limits a little bit longer. But yeah, so far so good. All very positive for me so far. Um, yeah, I, you know, I've enjoyed it on that, very, on that first run and looking forward to running a lot more in the Nike Wild Horse 8. So just in terms of how the Wild Horse compares to, I would say, you know, looking at some of the other Nike trail shoes and the trail shoes that I've run in, I think obviously you look at something like the um, kind of Pegasus um, Trail, it feels like that shoe is a bit more um, capable of running a little bit quicker and it's lighter as well. Obviously, this is probably one of the heavier shoes in Nike's um, range. I think you look at something like the Terra Giga again, it's kind of that kind of real kind of low drop kind of very you know connected kind of feel in terms of how you run in that shoe and it definitely feels like it it feels a little bit more nimble and obviously it's going to be a lot lighter than shoe as well it definitely is about the cushioning on this shoe in terms of what you're getting here compared to some of the uh, other night shoes and offer you that kind of bigger level of protection i think ultimately and obviously offering a little bit more in terms of the overall comfort over longer distances as well and think about other shoes that i ultimately or instantly think about in terms of comparing the shoe to i think obviously things like the hocker speed gate 5 which we obviously do love here i think with that shoe maybe you are getting something that feels a little bit more lively in terms of the ride maybe you're getting a little bit more in terms of protection as well again you know the verdict is out in terms of what you're getting in the outsole but the kind of speed goat 5 outsole is very very good that kind of um vibram outsole that you get there so I think ultimately it's going to be a shoe that feels that it's going to work in terms of how Nike best defines it. It feels like there's improvements here on the Wild Horse 7 and the Wild Horse 6 as well. So that is definitely a positive here. But yeah, in terms of how it sits in those other Nike shoes, definitely they're more comfortable. It's going to be a bit heavier, but I don't think it runs heavy, um, but obviously more protected. And again, I think, you know, like shoes against, you know, things like the Speedgoat 5, I think maybe you're getting something a bit more versatile elsewhere outside of this shoe that kind of, you know, you know sit in the same category okay so there you have it some initial pretty positive thoughts on the nike wild horse 8 obviously plenty more running to do in the shoe before we give you our full review but if you've got any questions about this shoe let us know in the comments as always like and subscribe hit that little bell to find out about our latest videos and yeah we'll see you in the next run tester's video